Hi, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. A couple summers ago, Pete and I were among the most lucky people on earth because we were invited over to Pepino and Rosaria's house for one of Rosaria's epic lunches. We had heard tale from our friends about these lunches that would stretch your stomach and feed your soul, so we couldn't be more excited. And then we asked Rosaria in advance if we could come early and film her making her fabulous dishes, and she said yes. So we are super happy to present what we hope is the first in a series of the Culinary Queens of Calabrian Cuisine with Rosaria. Now, after you watch this video with Rosaria, you're gonna be hungry, but if you're hungry for still more, go to supersavvytravelers.com slash lunchwithrosaria, and you can read along and see pictures of the play-by-play -play and the taste-by-taste. A couple summers ago, Pete and I were in Santa Dominica, Talao, and we had had a 4th of July celebration, which was really fun. We invited our Italian friends over, um, Peppino and Rosaria, who you see here, and uh, we all had fun. We had a wonderful dinner, and then we were invited to one of Rosaria's epic Sunday lunches. And uh, we said, oh, that'd be great. We knew she was going to make her, her uh, signature tagliatelle. And we said, well, we want to come film it. Is that okay with you? And she said, absolutely. So we got there early. And here, Rosaria has this semolina flour um, dough that she's made. And then she's using what I later found out was a broomstick <laughs> to, uh, to roll it out. I told her, hey, I need to get one of those. Where did you get it? She looked at me with her hand on her hip and said, this is a broomstick. <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. So anyway, she's using this broomstick. And you can see that she's a, a master of this. Now, in this here, she's rolling it on the broomstick. She's telling me that you use the palms of your hands and you pull outward and make it wider and you can see that it does that it makes it wide and rolls it out really really nicely so um, she rolls out for quite a bit here and it's going to get a lot bigger than it is so um, she was rolling and rolling and stretching and stretching and we're chatting and chatting and um, talking about various different things now as she was cooking this she had these amazing loaves of braided bread in her little oven on the top of the, um, the countertop and these loaves were stuffed with her own salami and uh, cheese, and they were smelling absolutely heavenly the whole time she was doing it. I was so hungry watching her do this. Um, and her salami is not just a regular salami. She raises her own pigs. She raises all of her own um, produce. This is a gal who um, any eggs are come from her chickens. She even raised her own mushrooms. I don't know how she did it, but it was quite amazing. Everything that she makes comes from her garden or her uh, produce or livestock. So um, a lunch with her is really an experience. Now here she's rolling it out. It's going to get even bigger if you can think of that, but um, she makes it really, really thin. Somehow it all holds together. And um, putting flour on and make sure it doesn't stick. So here she's going to fold it up, and I don't know how she did it. I tried to do it. She makes it look so easy. I tried to do it at home, and it just <laughs> didn't quite work. But she makes it look really easy. In fact, I'm going to have her give us a class when we get over there. So um, she folds it up and makes sure it's all, you know, set and everything else. And watch what she does with her knife here. It looks like she's sort of randomly flicking, but you'll notice they all flick in a line. She flicks them into a, a line there, and um, she's quite the master with that. So she's going to go through that whole thing there, and then broop, there you go. There's your tagliatelle, and it's all perfect. Each one is exactly the same size as the other one. I don't know how she does it. She's really amazing. Again, she makes it look easy, but I tried it, and it's, it's not as easy as she makes it look. And there's the tagliatelle. It's going to sit there and rest a little bit. Now she's putting it in a big pot. She's already made a big pot of ragout, which is amazing. I don't know what she puts in it, but I'm going to find out because I'm going to um, have her give us a cooking class on that as well. All of that tagliatelle goes into the pot. There were, I think, oh, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us maybe that day. And um, she cooked for all of us. It only cooks for a few minutes because it is fresh pasta. There's the loaves that I told you about. Oh my gosh, they were absolutely unbelievable. Now here's Peppino slicing them up. They're so soft, you can almost not cut them. And uh, you'll see in a minute, 
on the inside is the salame and the formaggio, which is the cheese. These things were just the most amazing things. I'm not supposed to have gluten, but of course I ate a couple of slices because <laughs> they were so good. So um, here I'm asking him, did you put eggs in it? And he said, yes, because it's very yellow. So here she is putting the noodles back into the pot and she's going to add her ragout on top. And again, she's probably been cooking. I would think she's been cooking since early morning because not only did she make this amazing homemade pasta, but you'll see in a minute how um, the other dish that she made. And this pasta was absolutely wonderful. If you want to make every all of us uh, talkers, American talkers, be quiet, just put that in front of us and you'll hear silence. Well, it's slurping. So, um, yeah, this is a, a beautiful, beautiful dish. And she puts an extra little dollop of ragout on top just to make sure it's perfect. And there it is, absolutely beautiful. So that was only one dish. Now she's had these other things. These are polpette, I think, which are um, meatballs. And then some sort of amazing stuffed and rolled pork thing and some other pork chop. She is absolutely a stunning chef. And here we are after lunch. Look how happy we are. Uh, this is me, of course, Rosaria's in the middle. And this is my beautiful friend, uh, Bonnie from Mississippi, who um, has just been a joy over in Santa Dominica. So Rosaria, hats off to you. You are the absolutely one of the best chefs I've ever come across. And we so enjoy your beautiful creation. So thank you very much. And thank you for letting us film.